I'm Bob McDonald, and I'm running for position number two, Kootenai County Commissioner, District 2. Well, I've had some experience. I've been a Coeur d'Alene City Councilman, and I've served two terms. I've been a Kootenai County Commissioner before, and I've served two terms there as well. I've got 20 years' experience in business in this community, and 12 years as a realtor. So I think that has given me a rounded experience and education to do a job over there at the Kootenai County Commissioner's Office. That's, a, that's a, quite a question because um, we come under the jurisdiction of a lot of federal laws that we have to take care of the prisoners in a certain manner. Now, I'd rather build trails and jails and I'd rather build uh, dog parks and drug courts, but we've got to address crime where it's, uh, where it's happening and we've got to take care of the criminals that we pick up, the ones that are apprehended, the ones that have to serve some time, and we've got to provide the facility for that. If the Voters decide that they don't want to pass this bond, and I'm not sure it's the right thing, but I do know that we need to provide the facility. If we don't do it, and it is determined by higher authorities that it needs to be done, they'll force us to do it. At that time, it'll be paid for out of the general budgets, out of the tax fund. It won't be paid for by sales tax. It'll be paid for out of uh, general budgeted money or as a special levy against the people. I think we've had master plan communities here before. Uh, when I first got in the real estate business, we had Coeur d'Alene Place. That was probably the largest development of land in, in, uh, that we'd ever seen in, in Coeur d'Alene. And they provided for schools, they provided for uh, multifamily, and they provided for uh, retail and a lot of single family, various price ranges. This is a planned community. They've also got other plans on the drawing board right now, like what's taking place down at uh, Harrison. That's possible. Uh, but I think the little communities have to be careful what they allow to happen. I think the commissioners have to be careful that they don't just allow somebody to go out into the countryside and put down a gigantic development that's going to tax the roads and the infrastructure of the whole area. So um, I don't want to see Kootenai County change dramatically. It's going to change, but I don't think we should just let master planned communities, even though that's possible and people have the money to do it, we shouldn't just allow them to come in here and change things too drastically. Although we do need to write the laws, have the comprehensive plan, and uh, if, if it's possible for them to do it and they really have the wherewithal, we'll let them do what's legally allowed. Well, it'd be nice to, um, when we take a look at taxes, to say that we're, um, if we lower taxes, that'd be the answer. How about if we raise wages? That'd be the answer. Then the percentage would look better. What we've got to do for sure is to make sure that the uh, governments are running efficiently, that they uh, are cooperating, there's no duplication, and that we're getting a bang for our buck. We need to have the best government that we can afford, and we don't need to have one that's inefficient. I know there was a quote in the article by, I believe, Nonini from the Republican Party, and he said that uh, government is wasteful. I don't know that local government is that wasteful, and there was a citizen in there that was quoted as well, someone from Post Falls, that said um, they don't get anything for their tax dollars. I think that's not true. I think you get uh, pretty good value for your tax dollars, in Kootenai County especially. I want to see more efficiency, I want to see better cooperation, and I want to see some professional administration.